India has end-to-end -end capabilities in nuclear energy. Now, the government proposes to bring an amendment in the Atomic Energy Act. The cabinet has approved it and India wants to ramp up nuclear energy to 100 gigawatts. I have with me Professor Ajay Sood, the principal scientific advisor to the government of India. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Why do we need nuclear energy in India and will we be able to achieve 100 gigawatts? So let us look at why do we need energy. Now, there is a very one-to-one -one, uh, correlation between human development index of a country and the energy consumption per person. Right now, India human development index is 0 0.67 and we consume about 21 gigajoule per year per person. If you want to take the human development index to a developed nation, which is 0 0.9 and uh, onwards, it is estimated that you need minimum 60 gigajoule. 60 gigajoule. From 23 to 60 gigajoule per person per year. Now, this cannot be done just with one source. At the same time, India has committed to be net zero carbon by 2070. Now, these two things, energy requirement and net zero carbon have to go hand in hand. Keeping that in mind, our office had uh, commissioned a report on what should be our energy transition pathway. And in that, it became very, very clear that nuclear energy, which is a clean energy, will play a very dominant role. So, in my mind and uh, uh, all the people who are uh, concerned about net zero carbon goals and energy requirement, it is no doubt that India needs to scale up its nuclear energy program, which is what you said, is 100, 100 gigawatt. And it can be done if all players come in. So this cabinet approval of uh, opening up the private sector to the private sector, like the way it was done for space, will be a game changer. And that is what you see is already started to happen in the space sector. That was opened not long back, but it is already making a difference. So that's the hope. So now, will we be able to give the private sector space to be able to develop full nuclear plants or will there be control with atomic energy? So it has to go hand in hand because uh, there are, because one thing you must remember, India has the best safety record in nuclear energy. That cannot be compromised. So we need to take whatever precautions, whatever safety concerns we have, along with opening up the sector so that we have the technology flowing, we have the resources come in. So they cannot be uh, without the safety concerns. And uh, this, uh, whatever is the discussion happening, is cognizant of that. And, and do you think, because you've interacted with the private sector, are they interested in setting up yes. nuclear power plants, captive or otherwise? My sense is yes, especially when you look at the new requirement of the data centers. We are talking of data centers, but you must remember these are energy guzzlers. They don't come for free. Correct. Where will you get this energy from? Because our other energy requirement will also keep on going up. You have now additional uh, technologies like AI and so on coming into picture new industries coming in. Now, all that needs uh, this and there is a desire as far as I see uh, that our private sector would like to be a part. And, and what will be the role of Department of Atomic Energy and the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited as we ramp up to 100 gigawatts as the Prime Minister desires for a low carbon energy source, base load power for India? See, this is again, uh, we can take a very, very uh, beautiful lesson from what happened in space. When you have space, when you have in space, you also have NSIL, you also have Department of Space, ISRO. Now, all three, the synergy 
is absolutely essential same thing will happen in atomic energy it is not that one is more required than the other in my understanding it all will be needed and it will be a uh, synergistic role rather than control and command role and, and do you think we will be importing technology we have right now russian reactors americans have been wanting to put large reactors french have been wanting to put reactors will that be an opportunity i think so because we should look at all options i mean i am uh, one should not say that we will not do this or that when you are opening up the sector go with an open mind and see what is good for india we need to see uh, we have to grow as a nation atmanirbhar but the other players have to be a enthusiastic partner not the reluctant partner and this is what we will need to take uh, whole of uh, government whole of society whole of uh, innovation approach that's my way now liability was one issue will that be overcome will we change from a people friendly liability regime to an industry friendly liability regime which the world has so this is something we have to see i don't think uh, i am at a stage to comment on it but this is what we need to see when it goes to parliament how it is uh, debated and so on but concern uh, the uh, whatever you are saying will be uh, looked into and i am sure there will be appropriate answer so as the principal scientific advisor to the government of india if india has to fulfill its large appetite for energy you think atomic energy will play a critical role in that absolutely and that was very clear from a scientific study which our office commissioned so it's not a kind of uh, uh, parochial i'm uh, not a just a, a hearsay thing so this report is a technical report made by experts with all the data with all the data put in if you look at the report it's very clear nuclear energy will play a very dominant role thanks a lot for speaking to thank me you. doctor thank you so it's always such a pleasure learning thank so much from you so that was prof ajay kumar sud principal scientific advisor to the government of india telling us that if india has to become a developed country it is imperative to embrace nuclear energy india has end to end capabilities india makes its own nuclear reactors we have 25 of them with about 8 to 9000 megawatts of installed capacity but we could do more as we go along to be a developed nation in new delhi pallav bagla for ndtv